It isn't exactly going to be wedding weather over the weekend, but hey, wedding week continues here on the Fox 61 Morning News. That's right. All week long, our Lauren Zenzi has been showcasing top tips and trends for those who are in the middle of planning their dream wedding. She's joining us live once again here in the studio with more. Well, hopefully, since so many weddings have been rescheduled to 2021, hopefully they have a tent if it's planning on being outside. But if you're looking to escape reality, but you're not ready to go on a honeymoon just yet, Connecticut has so many amazing destinations for all types of couples. We've got the ultimate guide to mini moons right here in our state. Take a look. Connecticut shoreline is absolutely a sight to take in. We have lighthouses, we have the Thimble Islands. You will see people out kayaking and boating and just enjoying the sun and the surf and, and really just taking the time to stroll and take in the beauty of the Connecticut coastline is, is something of, of pure beauty and enjoyment that we really hope everyone enjoys with us this year. First up in Old Saybrook is the quaint and quiet Saybrook Point Inn, nestled between the Long Island Sound and the Connecticut River. You can wake up to the peaceful water views, boats sailing by, and feel like you're tucked away at a tranquil waterfront oasis without leaving the state. The inn also features a delicious fresh salt restaurant and a full service spa to relax and reset. Connecticut also offers a various um, opportunity in terms of whether you want the luxurious, you know, coastline resort or a romantic uh, bed and breakfast or an inn. Um, there are so many hidden gems. Next up for a more resort like getaway, we take you to Westbrook to Water's Edge Resort and Spa. Beautifully landscaped gardens, acres of grounds overlooking the water, a private white sand beach, restaurants, entertainment and a premium spa. You can escape reality and have a full experience without leaving the grounds. Couples can have a full experience spending time in Mystic, Connecticut as well. You can start your stay in Mystic Village, visiting over 60 shops, then head over to Mystic Aquarium with the beluga whales, penguins, and other oceanic animals. Then round out your trip in Mystic Seaport, a beautiful waterfront strip filled with history and charm. And for the food loving couples out there looking for the best eateries around the state, you can take a trip along the Connecticut wine, beer, chocolate or foodie trails, boasting endless options for a full culinary experience. Connecticut is um, an ideal location right now with the pent up demand around travel. Uh, people want to get out and explore. Absolutely. But they want to do it safely and they want to do it a little closer to home. So Connecticut, again, is the perfect location from the coastline to the hills. It has so much to offer. Now off to the Litchfield Hills to Windvian Farms, an oasis set on 113 acres, bordering extensive woods and lakes. This is the perfect place for a mini moon to recharge and indulge. A truly all-inclusive five-star experience for guests featuring intimate private cottages, restaurants, a spa, and countless outdoor activities to escape reality and celebrate love. And last but certainly not least, if you're looking for a more eventful experience, escape to Foxwoods Resort and Casino, where you can do everything from relax at the spa, roll the dice at a craps table, dance the night away at one of their many nightclubs, go shopping at their fully indoor outlets, or indulge in a variety of food and beverage experiences at the largest resort casino in North America, right here in the Nutmeg State. There really is so much to do here in our little state, whether you want to go hiking or just relax at the beach or even go to a place like Foxwoods or Mohegan Sun. There's something for everyone's taste. Tim and Erica, this is really making me want to get away just for a couple of days. And luckily, our state is about an hour distance everywhere you yeah, go right. from Hartford. So we really can take lots of day trips. You could choose a weekend and go there and the next weekend go there. <laughs> and then, yeah, just keep it going. Really great. <laughs> you should work for the Board of Tourism. <laughs> okay, <it>. bye. No. <laughs> right? We got the CT bucket list. It all works. Yeah. All right, Lauren, thank you.